Hello folks, this is my Arduino controller for an antenna rotator. An antenna rotator is an assembly with some motors and an antenna on top and it is used to point the antenna towards a desired position, let's say towards a satellite. A prototype that I'm working at It's made up of an Arduino board, Arduino Uno, and an LCD display, uh, 16 by 2, two rotary encoders, and two potentiometers. One potentiometer encodes, transmits the azimuth position of the antenna, and this one, the elevation position of the antenna. Uh, the encoders are used to command manually the antenna to a desired position. Some implement it with push buttons, but I found it to be much more natural to rotate uh, the antenna uh, just by uh, adjusting this uh, rotary encoder. So if I uh, rotate the azimuth, I command the antenna to go to, let's say, 119 and this is the po position if uh, the motor rotates the antenna it goes to 119 then equals means the motor stops and these two LEDs here represent the command of the azimuth motor this one is for direction, this one is for actual power. So, if the antenna is to the left, the direction is off and we have power to rotate. And the antenna moves to the right, we have switched the direction, the polarity basically, and the motor has power. I also implemented a soft stop, not to jerk the antenna too much. So if the uh, azimuth difference, true azimuth and command azimuth, is less than 8 degrees, I reduce power to 60%. So let's go closer to, uh, let's say, less than 8 degrees. It's at 10 degrees, less than 8 degrees. You notice a little dim of the LED and less than 3 degrees, I go to 30% of power. 30% of power, 60% full power. The same goes with the azimuth. Ah, with the elevation, but uh, in azimuth, because the range is so wide, and if you go want to go to, let's say from uh, from 10 degrees, from 25 degrees to 300 degrees, you have to rotate like madness this encoder. But if you push it, you multiply the increment by 10 and you quickly can go to whatever position desired. At 360 it uh, overshoots to zero and back. Well, once we've reached the desired position, we press the button, we press the button and we can go by one degree. And thus we have power to the motor and motor rotates the antenna the desired position. Same thing goes with the elevation. So if we rotate the elevation encoder, we command the antenna to go up and the antenna should go up. I didn't implement an LED to visually 
uh, notice the motor command but I implemented a direction which is the uh, motherboard LED here so LED the motherboard the direction is off so it, the direction is up and I go up 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 and I overshoot the direction changes and it commands me to go down and I go down until it equals and the direction doesn't matter because the power is off this LED blinks here because the position potentiometer is slightly very slightly so slightly off the desired position and sometimes the antenna, the motor gets a little bit of command to turn into the right direction if the azimuth increment by 10 is depressed the board doesn't take any other commands any other reading from anything so it doesn't matter if i rotate the as the elevation encoder it doesn't matter if the antenna rotates the board doesn't read that it only waits the board basically is on stop is on hold it only waits an azimuth a quick azimuth change so if i release it the board starts to read data again the design is based around this arduino board arduino uno and works like so the arduino uno board reads the position of the potentiometers of the antenna so it reads the position of the antenna and it feeds inside the board the target position the desired position goes in via those two encoders or via the usb from the computer from the tracking software the board computes and then sends the power towards the motor via those two power modules in form of form of pulse width modulations and those weak 5 volts pulse width modulation turns into big 12 volts pulse width modulation which power the motors and those two relay modules uh, switch over the direction which the motor turns up and down left or right so the power goes to the motor the motors rotate the antenna and in turn the potentiometers the board reads again the position of the antenna commands the motors and the whole cycle repeats again until the antenna reach the desired position and then it stops towards my target this assembly could have been replaced by a single board called H bridge board which works like this we have uh, some branches of four MOSFETs transistor this is a simplified uh, schematic and if we apply uh, pulse width modulation on these uh, gates here the current flow is as follows yes and the motor has this polarization and it turns like this on the other hand if we choose to switch over the rotation then uh, pulse width modulation will be applied on the opposite diagonals and the motor will spin in the opposite direction this is this has the advantage that um, it's it's simpler it's uh, uh, switch over, the switchover is more rapid and has fewer parts the disadvantage uh, in my particular case was that this H bridge module this is how it looks like in reality requires two pins for a direction switchover and in order to move in one direction um, we should feed them like uh, one and uh, the other one zero and to move in the opposite direction we should feed them like zero and one and I also couldn't find a powerful enough H bridge MOSFET to withstand my uh, three amps motor current draw so this is why i chose this two module approach with a power mosfet and a relay switchover for the direction the serial connection 
this future to be uh, antenna rotator can be rotated manually via these two encoders or by computer by serial transmission of a uh, satellite tracking uh, software and uh, today I'm going to use Orbitron thanks to some wonderful guys who developed a uh, driver which goes to Orbitron and outputs on serial antenna direction, the, the satellite directions I have to choose COM7 where my Arduino board is connected board Arduino initiate initialized and I'm I'm going I'm starting to receive serial data and the command this command to these two positions are one transmitted by Orbitron I'm going to show you immediately that well it shows 61 and minus 72 minus 72 obviously cannot be achieved and this means the satellite is on the other side of the earth and I limited to to zero but I can't I still I'm still reading the azimuth let's go hunt some other satellites I go for this one AO92 AO92 is on uh, 333 by minus 6 we got 332 by 0 and if I want to adjust the antenna so I have a motor command here and the antenna starts to rotate three let's wait three to five and let's wait to go to three to five we have three to six right now while I'm receiving data by serial interface uh, serial interface I can still play with the encoders I can increase the azimuth you see I increased it 333 but it will soon change to whatever command gets uh, comes to the serial and the same goes with the elevation I can increase the elevation and it goes back to zero I want to go to as, as far as possible and it goes back to zero and with the azimuth the same it goes back to the command position by the serial but as I said if I depress the encoder button the whole board is in pause now this snowflake here means the whole board is on pause we we don't receive uh, data by uh, by serial interfa interface and we don't output any command the antenna basically stops the whole board stops but if I depress it again well everything goes back I can uh, input data into the board in the same time or the same time by serial or by encoder it doesn't bother me because maybe at some point you have the cable connected to the computer but the software is not started and you don't care about it I uh, stopped the tracking software tracking software is stopped and without any other without any further command or setting or something I can play with my board and I can command my antenna to whatever position I want, I'd like I'm trying to align the antenna with the command and now we have equal this is how Orbitron commands my module it transmits uh, the elevation and the azimuth of this satellite Fox 1D and as soon as it uh, goes over the horizon the SDR starts and uh, tunes into the according frequency so Orbitron sends both uh, to oh, SDR sharp the Doppler correction for uh, tuning and towards my antenna rotator module the azimuth and elevation of the satellite and I'm trying my best to 
adjust the he antenna position so to speak the potentiometers to match the my uh, input command and uh, yeah everything works fine yeah I'm using this uh, driver that uh, I'm going to link in the description which was developed by an enthusiast fellow and which outputs on the serial a string with um, an azimuth and elevation of the target satellite and it's called SPID and if we launch this uh, driver it outputs on COM7 and we start seeing that uh, the command uh, azimuth and elevation is shown on the display the module receive this command and is trying to rotate the motors according to those two arrows but if uh, the elevation is uh, negative we will stop the elevation to zero but what i'm trying to to say is that uh, i implemented in the software uh, a response from the module because some software uh, ask the real position of the antenna to be displayed on their uh, on their interface so uh, I have to let go of the COM7 and uh, I'm connecting uh, through this uh, serial monitor here and if I'm uh, sending the same the same string the module responds with the antenna azimuth 178 antenna elevation 10 those are the true antenna position if I am changing those you'll see immediately and uh, I'm sending again the command the uh, uh, controller responds with the true antenna position so you see those two match and uh, there are software which uh, take this into account and display on their interface this uh, particular one doesn't do that so I'm taking over the COM7 again and bingo we have the, the direction of this satellite this is as much as the software and the basic goes and uh, in the next episode I'm going to do the hardware and I just got myself some some goodies here Christmas is here I've got some breadboards this is a uh, MOSFET driver, I actually got four, because it uh, supports um, two amperes and my motor drives maximum three amperes, so I'm going to put two in parallel. Input to the motor, PWM, 12 volts input and output 12 volts PWM. Better quality breadboard. Tight bag. Yeah. This was more expensive than that. I, I remember a two relay board these relay boards are used to switch the direction of the rotation both in azimuth and elevation command and output we need two relays to switch over uh, 
both line plus and minus. The last but not least, some connectors. To put them they connect the motors and the external potentiometers. <laughs>